If you want to learn how to bulk upload all of your designs from Printify automatically to Etsy, then stay tuned because in this video, we'll be going over how to use the bulk uploader software from Sale Samurai. This video is part three in my automation series where I'm trying to help you make more money in less time. First, I taught you how to create over 100 designs for your t-shirts in less than an hour using ChatGPT and Canva. Then I taught you how to make all of your product mockups for free using a software we're called Figma. And now in this video, I'll teach you how to bulk upload all of those designs that you created right to your store. That's the biggest question that I got after my design video was it's great that I've made all of these designs, but how do I upload them efficiently? I'll link those two videos down in the description for you so you can watch those next if you miss them. And before we jump into how to actually use the bulk uploader software, there's a few things that you need to do to prepare. So let's hop into those right now. The first thing you need to do is optimize your designs for this software. The reason you need to do that is because the software is going to bulk upload your design to the product on Printify. And so if you have your design in the middle of the canvas, it'll print it in the middle of the shirt. So the first thing we need to do is head over to Printify. So let's say you're trying to upload shirts for the Bella Canvas 3001. In this scenario, I'm going to be using Monster Digital for my example. When we click Start Designing, down here at the bottom, you're going to see Monster Digital's print area. It says it's 4,500 by 5,100. That's what this whole box will be. And so you need to go optimize your design so that it can be uploaded to Printify without making any adjustments. If your designs aren't already the correct size, then go ahead and go to this magic switch if you have Canva Pro. And if you don't have Canva Pro and you want to give them a try, I do have a 30-day free trial for you down in the description. So down here, go to custom size, and here we'll change this to 50. 100 instead, and we will select the size for all of the pages. So instead of copy and resize, I'm just going to resize the design so that way the exact file I'm already in will be the correct size. Now you typically want your t-shirt designs pretty close to the top, maybe somewhere around here. Make sure they're centered and you don't want it to go all the way in the armpit so I don't put it all the way to the edge. Now I want you to save one of your designs as an example. So save maybe just the first page of your design. That way we can upload it to Printify and make sure it's right. So I open the design onto this t-shirt and it is about exactly where I like my designs. I like my designs a little bit further than the collar on each side, a little bit below the top, or sometimes I like them all the way to the top depending on how tall the design is. But you can't have to move this in any way because the way Sales Samurai is going to upload it is exactly like if you just opened it onto Printify and that's it. So make sure to preview your product and make sure that that placement makes sense for your designs. And if you're not already familiar with Printify, they are a print on demand company. So I get to make all of the designs digitally for my products. I post them for sale on Etsy, just like I'm showing you here. And then when someone buys it, Printify actually fulfills the item, they print it, they ship it to the customer all for me. I just have to upload my products and handle the customer service. Service. And I do have a free trial to a 30 day of the Printify Premium down in the description for you. And that is all capitals, Cassie 30, if you haven't used the Printify Premium to get the discounts on your products before. So once you have all of your design files saved that are optimized for getting uploaded to Printify, the next step is you have to save each of the files as a unique file name. If you don't do this, then Sales Samurai will search your Printify database for any files you've posted before and if it has the same name it'll use that image instead so make sure to give them unique names and then of course you're going to need sale samurai to be able to make this process happen so you can go to salesamurai.io I will have a link for you down in the description that also comes with a 20% off coupon so definitely make sure to use that if you decide to purchase this software now sales samurai is a lot more than just a bulk uploader they are a keyword research tool as well but the bulk uploader is the part that we're going to be focusing on today. So once you've purchased Sales Samurai, the last thing you need to do before we get started is actually download the bulk uploader onto your computer. Once you open Sales Samurai, you will see right up here at the top the uploader. Now if you have a Windows computer, most of you are going to need the Windows 32 option, but if you have a Mac, then click the Mac and go ahead and download this onto your computer because this software is actually going to open up a browser, sign into Printify, and do the uploading for you one by one 
so it does need to be an application on your computer. Once you open Sales Samurai's bulk uploader, you'll see that it's asking you for a CSV file. This is the file that we have to create for any of your bulk uploaded files to tell the system exactly what to upload and to what product. So let's go over to Google Sheets and we'll create this CSV together so you know exactly what they need. So you'll just need to go to sheets.google.com and click blank spreadsheet. So here we just need a couple different headers. So for the first box, we want to have our title. The second box, we want to have our description and it doesn't actually matter which order these are in. The third one, I'll do image. We need your shipping profile. We need the price and then we'll add the tags. Now, Sales Samurai won't actually upload your tags for you, and that's because Printify doesn't right now have a spot for us to enter our tags at the bottom when we're uploading. But as soon as they do add that ability, which I know Sales Samurai's in talks with them to get them to do it, then we will be able to do it. But this is a great place to fill in all your tags, that way you can copy and paste them into your listings once you go through one by one to update your mockups. But then after that, your listings will be all set. So then before I actually start filling in the table, I like to highlight the whole area that I'm going to be using and go to format, wrapping, and wrap text. That way they don't end up going over into each other. So this is where we're going to input all the information for our listings. Now I like to start with filling in the image path number first. That way I know exactly which one that I'm adding. So to get your image path, which is what it tells the software how to get the file from your computer. If you have a Windows, you'll hold down the shift key, right click your design, and then you'll come down to copy path name. Now I have a Mac, so it's a little bit different. So you'll right click, click the option button, and then come down here while you're still clicked and hit copy engineer 23 as path name. And now that'll be copied to your clipboard and we'll go back over to our Google sheet. So then you'll just paste that right here into the image file section. And you can make these wider as needed for the different things that you're going to need this for. So then you'll see here you have the engineer file. So now when I go in here to add my title, so just like normal, I'll go to Etsy to do my SEO research and I'll come up with a title for my design. So once you fill out your title, your description and your tags, you want to enter in the price for your least expensive option. Now we're going to change the price for each size as needed once we're in the software. So I usually just put the least expensive one. And then the last thing we need to input is the shipping profile. So you need to type it out exactly as you have it in your Etsy store. So you can see here on my Etsy store, the name of my shipping profile is four dollar sign lowercase shipping. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into my document. That way it uses the shipping profile that I I've already set up instead of creating a new one for every single one. So then all you have to do is repeat for all of the other designs that you want to upload. And what's nice about this process is if you're not bulk uploading a bunch of designs you made all at once, you could just throughout the week as you make designs, go find the SEO, grab the file name and add it to this document. That way you don't have to go list in between doing all those things. You can just set it up to all bulk upload once a week and be done with it. Once you've filled out your spreadsheet entirely, you'll need to save it. So go to file, download, and then you need to save it as a .csv file. So now we're ready to open the Sales Samurai bulk uploader and get this all set up. So come to the CSV with headers and open the CSV file that you just saved. So now you'll be able to see everything that you uploaded on your CSV file to make sure that it looks correct. And once you're done, you can come over here to services. And today we'll be using the Printify service since they are completely integrated. So there's lots of different products that you can bulk upload with on Sales Samurai, but today's tutorial we'll be doing shirts. So I'm going to change this and look for the Bella 3001 t-shirt and click choose. Then you need to click your print provider. Again, we chose Monster Digital for this one and we made sure that our file was correct for this one. Now, the next thing you need to do is exactly match the store name to how you have it on Printify. So come over to your Printify account and however it has your store name right here, this is my mock-up store just as an example, I have stop, mock, and roll with the capital S at the beginning and no other capitals. This needs to match exactly or it won't work. And then obviously we wanna link it to Etsy for this tutorial. 
So you can do designs for the front, the back, the neck label. You can add multiple image paths in as different columns if you're doing a front and a back design. But today we're just doing the image. So now you'll come down to the image and you'll connect the data from image to image so they know where to grab the information. And now for publishing options, I like to say save as draft. That way I can go update the tags and the photos one by one as I have time for it. So they're not just up in my store ready for sale without the proper mock-ups and the tags added to it. And then you want to add all of the sizes. Ideally, I don't know why you wouldn't. And then you pick the colors that you want. Now you can only upload one file. And so you wanna make sure that your design looks good on all of the colors that you choose. Like the design that I'm using for this example has black cursive text. So I don't wanna put any of the black shirts or dark colored shirts in this listing because that design doesn't make sense for those. So for this design, I'm going to choose Athletic Heather, white, the natural color, I'll do the Heather Peach, and I think that will be perfect, but you can choose any colors that make sense for the design that you like to use in your listing. Then we need to go down and connect the rest of the data. So for the title, you're going to choose your data collection and you're gonna say the one that was title. So these are actually pulling from that CSV document that we created. So you want the title to be the title, the description to be the description, price to be the price, and the shipping profile to be the shipping profile. Pretty simple. And then down here at the bottom, you can change the prices for the items depending on the size. So if you wanna charge extra for 2XL or 3XL, you can change those prices right here. Then coming back up to the top, it's up to you if you want this to be hidden or visible. If you have this say visible, then you'll actually be able to see the process of these getting uploaded to your store right here on this screen, which I like to do. And then now we're pretty much done. We just go over to the uploader. They do have an option to have it check trademarks for you before you post if you like, but hopefully you are checking your trademarks as you go anyways. And then you just click start uploading. Now the last thing it needs to do is open up, you'll see right here it's opening Chromium, and it's going to ask me to log in to Printify. So go ahead and log into your Printify account and it'll get started. You'll see that Chrome is being controlled by an automated test software, and you'll see this actually start to go through the process of selecting that item, adding your design, adding your titles and your descriptions, and posting it to your store. Now this isn't an automated process, all at once, boom, they're done, because Etsy doesn't allow necessarily things to work Work like that and so it goes at a human's speed but now you can go work on other things while this does it all for you in the background now this might take a couple of minutes depending on how many products that you're trying to upload all at once so we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished once Sales Samurai is completed uploading all your designs you'll come to your listings page and then go to the drafts section and then you'll see all of your designs here and ready so then all you'll need to do is click into each of these listings Things. You'll delete the mockups from Printify and add your own beautiful mockups that you created using my last tutorial that I have linked down below. And again, you can just go copy and paste your tags from your Google Sheets document right into Etsy. So that way you can just enter them in all at once. And once you're ready, you can publish your changes. And now this item will be for sale in your store. And so this will be a much quicker and easier process to just go through, add the mockups, add the tags and move on and get all of the items listed in your store. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and will give this a try yourself, especially if you only have so many hours to put into your Etsy print-on-demand business per week. And one other thought, I think this would be a great process to teach a virtual assistant if you ever decide to hire one in the future. That way they can create these CSV files for you, find all your SEO, and then you just need to bulk upload it into Sales Samurai, go do the tags, and go do the mock-ups. I think that would be a really efficient way to run your business in the future. But please let me know if you had any questions at all about this software and I'll go ahead and link the video I was talking about earlier where I teach you how to bulk make the mock-ups with just the click of a button. So make sure to watch that next and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Hi cutie. I am actually trying to create a YouTube video. Yes, mommy's a little busy right now.